Existentialism. Collage. Fox. Noir. A mixing cocktail. Testicles. The first year, the, the whole point of it is to, 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 to get things wrong, to mess up, to just, you know, tr try your hand at absolutely everything. So much diversity on the course with different people that you get to speak with that they bring a lot more information to you about your own work as well, so it's been really good. It's quite a nice social interacting sort of area. Being in the first year, it's really important that you look into the artists that you relate your work to. So it's really good that we have one of the most brilliant libraries in London where you can find pretty much anything you want to you know, this is very much the grounding for us, so it would be silly to pigeonhole yourself into something really small. The best thing for me, actually, is being with all the other students because they have so many ideas and everybody works in different ways and uh, there's just a lot of people around and everybody's busy and it's quite exciting. For me, it's been absolutely fantastic to come here and uh, one thing I really love is um, the diversity of ages, because I'm just around people that are all different ages. It's like you've got your own gallery space that yes. you can always get inspiration from, and there's really diverse. Usually you have a strong set of abstract people at university or a strong set, uh, set of realistic people, whereas we've got cross... we've got the both. I thought I wanted to do painting and now I've started sculpture and it's much more exciting and... Uh, <laughs> So that, yeah, it's nice to be able to change. I think it's really good to set projects week by week to get us thinking. Um, you know, I think that the, the block is inspired by John Burgess's ways of seeing book, which is in itself a really inspiring book. The best, um, that's the best. As well as being able to work appropriately. So it's been like an explosion really for me and having access to the library and the workshops and the people but I love being in the studio with all the other students I think I learned so much. You know everything starts from the body everything that we create as creators starts from the body whatever you do. Oh, I think it's fabulous I think it's one of the best workshops we have going here. You know this is very much the grounding for us so it would be silly to pigeonhole yourself into something really small um, you've just got to keep yeah, experimenting, taking risks and um, you know the, the one thing that I've definitely taken out of first year is that it's a lot, a lot, of, a lot of research. And the people who attend the class just pay a couple of pounds towards the modest fee, which that. works out well. I mean it's a heck of a lot less than a private class would cost. Absolutely, yeah, brilliant. No, I wouldn't have had the facilities, I wouldn't have had the space either actually to be honest, uh, you know, so that's been great. Because you've got the Whitechapel just across the road and then Viner Street and everything going up through Brick Lane, so. Very good, um, yeah, a lot of source of inspiration around what happening. There's absolutely no problem boxing yourself in. I think this, the first year is really about just opening yourself up to everything. Yes. You know, I think personally for me it's been something that's been lacking, so that's been really exciting to just be exposed continually. It's actually okay to go talk to other tutors who are not necessarily your own tutor to push your work further, so it's kind of really confident building. CAS kind of encourages you to go and speak to other years and other departments and sort of get involved with everything else. I think the tutors um, are a bit more hands-on in the first year. They're, they're, they're sort of keeping a, a fairly close watch over what we're doing and in, in, in kind of sort of feedback and, and checking that we're doing things, you know. They're all practicing artists in their own right as well, so they're all sort of, you know, contemporary artists that aren't sort of stuck in the dark ages of an old sort of way of teaching or an old way of thinking. Um, everything they're doing is quite relevant at the moment and I guess in a way that kind of makes our work. If you think, if you go in thinking oh, I'm going to be a painter then you know try your hand at sculpture, try your hand at photography, mm -hmm. challenge yourself, do something out of your comfort zone, don't you know. Yeah definitely.